All right, here's a second FRQ. As usual, if there's any mistakes, um, I'll put them in the um, comment, pinned comment at the top or uh, in the description below. A uh, dermatologist would conduct an experiment to investigate the effectiveness of a new drug to treat acne. The dermatologist has recruited 36 pairs of identical twins. Each pair in the experiment has acne, and each person in the experiment will receive either a new drug or a placebo. After each person in the experiment uses a new drug or a placebo for two weeks, the dermatologist will evaluate improvement in acne. Okay, so they're getting a treatment or a placebo, and we're trying to see if it improves their acne. And they're identical twins. Identify the treatments. Um... So the treatments are the new drug or placebo. And the treatments are what you're doing to the experimental units. And the experimental units are the, um, the pairs of identical twins. Um, yep. And the response variable is the the number we're looking for uh, improvement activity for a scale from the zero. It's a scale from zero to one hundred. Um, about uh, you know about uh, acne severity, it's acne improve or Im improvement about improvement in acne severity. So the response variable you want to be specific. What is it? Improve. It's this this rating, this this num numerical rating that you're you're gonna have in uh, acne severity. Sorry if my handwriting is bad. I don't like, you know, this is why <laughs> I'm a big fan of the statistics when I do so much writing here. Okay, each twin in the experiment has a severity of acne similar to that of the other twin. However, the severity of acne differs from one twin pair to another. For the dermatologist experiment, describe a statistical advantage of using a matched pairs design where the twins are paired rather than using a completely randomized design. Well, um, why would you use matched pairs in this case is because you would be having people with a lot of similar common factors um, that uh, you, you basically don't want other factors to be causing the issue. So how would I phrase this exactly? Um, okay, so in, in colloquially, I would just tell you that you're, you're, the goal of using the matched pairs is that um, you can be you can be more certain that the your your treatment is the only difference that's causing the that's causing the effect, right? Um, by so I would say by using matched pairs, we are eliminating. Other possible um, variables that could cause an improvement, because that could cause uh, an improvement, uh, cause an improvement in acne. When I say other possible, uh, well, I, maybe I should say variables other than treatment other than the treatment the what is this the new drug that could cause an improvement in acne okay and i might want to say something along the lines of maybe giving an example for example the severity of acne um may affect how well the affect how well the drug works so f fully randomizing it may cause um may cause a uh may may result in seeing more improvement, but just based on where that where that pair was assigned. Based on which pair based on where that pair was assigned. Or the where that uh <laughs> there that person was assigned. 
I'm not super great at wording these things, but you want to just give the point here is you want to make a, a, a sentence that gives you an example of how that that might affect the results. Like maybe more specifically, and I don't want to subject you guys to my handwriting, but anymore, but maybe you could say something like, um, if more people with severe acne were put in the placebo placebo group, then um, it might, or, or in the treatment group, sorry, the new drug treatment, it might show a lot more improvement compared to the, the placebo group, but that's only because you had the the more severe cases in the treatment group, right? Not not because the drug's actually better. Or, I don't know, something like, you know, you want to just give an example that, 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 that indicates why that the matched pairs would work better, okay? For the dermatologist experiment, describe how the treatments can be randomly assigned to people using a matched pair design and which twins are paired. Okay, cool. So here you want to do, if you're going to do a matched pairs, you want to first, um, you want to take each, um, what you're going to do is each pair is going to be assigned whether or not they're going to get a, the treatment or not. So like you want like for a given pair, like, you know, a, a twin, one of them gets the new drug, one of them gets the placebo. So you say for each pair, for each pair of twins, um, pick, um, Pick, uh, um, have, have one twin, one twin flip a coin. If they get heads, they get the new drug. Oh, actually, don't have the twin flip it. Haha, <laughs> you want it blind. Have the for each pair have the um the uh research or have the researcher like if you want to double blind this flip a coin if they get heads the first the first twin gets the new drug and the second twin gets the um, placebo because you you don't want the twin to flip because then they would know which drug they're getting um, if they get tails the first twin be specific here you want to say who gets what based on the flip okay uh, first twin gets the placebo and Blah blah blah. Second twin gets the new drug. Okay, I I I, I I'm not self conscious about my writing, but you know it's just you know it's gonna take me time to write that out, and that's it. That's what I would do.